Hi, welcome. This is a stream to show you how to install the live streaming open source application Owncast on Reclaim Cloud. Um, it should be pretty quick. This is a one-click installer that Taylor Jaden of Reclaim Hosting um, created and uh, really makes installing this neat little application really, really seamless. So we're going to look at that right now. Um, let me jump into Reclaim Cloud and um, we'll take it from there. Okay, so I am in cloud. This is Reclaim Cloud. This is our kind of cloud off hosting offering where we have the ability to create one-click installers for a variety of applications. We're doing some work on these open media ecosystem applications and Owncast is one of them. So let's go in the marketplace here. That's up here, this top piece. And this will take you to a whole bunch of um, applications that we have one-click installers for. So I'm going to look for Owncast, and there it is. And so I'm going to click here, Install. And what will happen is this will allow us to very quickly define what the URL for this instance is. And I'm going to call this Owncast Test. Um, and I could even put a little dash in there to make it cleaner for me. And then do that, call it owncast test. I can click the region I want it to be in. It could be in the East Coast, the West Coast of the US, Canada, or the UK. And we do have a European data center coming soon. But this one, I'm going to keep it in the UK because that's closest to me. And I'm going to click install. And as it's installing, and this will take a little bit, um, it's kind of building the server and installing all the dependencies and doing all of this on the fly. Um, Reclaim Cloud uses uh, Docker containers to do this. And what I really like about this installer, and we'll look at it in a second, is Taylor Jaden created a couple of add-ons or a couple of elements that make it even easier not only to run it at that kind of weird URL, URL owncast-test.uk.reclaim.cloud, you can very easily map a domain to that and get an SSL cert, which we'll look at in a second. Um, the other thing is there's an add-on to update the application really easily. And both of those elements make running Owncast on Reclaim Cloud quite simple. Owncast is nice. It kind of is an open source alternative to services like Twitch, where you can install the um, stream URL and the stream key into something like OBS and stream right to your own um, site, your own URL where you're running this. And you have chat built in, which is really, really kind of elegant. I like it. They have built in some features where it's starting to kind of make it easy to kind of stream out for federated services like Mastodon. Um, so it's a nice alternative, as many of the tools we've looked at in the open media ecosystem are. Another one you can see here in the background called PeerTube. It, it's kind of an open source YouTube where you can upload and share your own videos. Um, you can also do streaming there, um, which is a nice feature. And there's kind of um, a couple that aren't shown here, but we've done stuff on AzuraCast. We have a one-click installer for that, which is a web radio. So there's a lot of stuff that's possible with these open source applications when it comes to running your own media spaces. And so that's pretty cool. So here we are. This is the kind of everything's worked. It's successful. And we have a couple of bits of information that are worth going through. We have the username and password, which is admin and ABC123. Those are the default. You're going to want to change those. It has the default URL here, owncast.-test.ukreclaim.cloud slash admin. So that's where you would log in. And then for us and for our purposes right now, it has the A record um, or the IP address where we want to point an A record so that if we have a different URL we want to run, like live.yoururl.com, um, rather than having it at something like the reclaim.cloud address, this is very easy to do. So I'm going to show you how to do that in a second. But this information will also be emailed to you. So no worries if you kind of close this unexpectedly and you can find the IP address in other places. So we can close this and then we can close out the marketplace. 
and now we will see our server. As I said, you can find the IP address in other places like right within the environment. And the other thing we wanna do real quick is we wanna map that um, IP address to an A record. I use um, Cloudflare for my Baba.tv address. So I'm gonna go to Cloudflare. You can do this in cPanel's DNS zone or wherever you manage DNS. But for my purposes, I'm gonna do it here. I'm gonna call the subdomain owncast. So this should now run on owncast.bava.tv. And I'm gonna click save. And Cloudflare is usually very quick. So I wouldn't be surprised if that starts working um, almost immediately. And so once we've done that, there's a couple of things that I've already mentioned them, but let's look at them. There's a couple of add-ons. So if you click on this add-ons button, it's going to give you a couple of options. One of them is to update owncast. So we have something where whenever a new update for owncast comes, you can click that button and you run the latest version without losing data or anything like that. And the other thing is domain configuration. So this is where I can change the domain from that reclaim.cloud URL to owncast.baba.tv, right? So there we go. And the other thing it will do, which is nice, and you can see that down here, is it will also give you a SSL certificate for this URL, which is very nice. So you can't embed the video on um, owncast without it. So it's a nice feature. So let's click that. Do I want to proceed? Yes it will now go through the process of updating the domain to the new one. That was done and it was quite quickly. So the moment of truth is we should be able to go to the URL owncast.bava.tv and see our instance. Let's see if that worked. Will it blend? Bava.tv, yeah, there it is. So it did work. So here I am with my own instance of owncast um, as noted in those instructions, you can access the admin, the admin area by doing slash whatever your URL is, admin. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to go to slash admin. And I'm going to now, I had to refresh um, quickly, but I'm going to put in that ABC123 password. It's admin and then ABC123. And that brings us into our dashboard. And this is where you can get your streaming URL and your stream key. So both of them are here. The stream key by default is the password that you log in with. So I recommend going to configuration here, going over to server setup and changing that away from ABC123 to something that's safer. So that would be the first thing I would recommend. But once you have both of these keys, right, you can then, um, so it's gonna log you out, so be careful. That's why I saw that black screen before. So you will be logged out, but now I can log in with the new admin and my new stream key, which is also my password. And I can use that um, stream key along with the RTMP URL to stream through a service or through an application like um, OBS. So let's try it, admin, and I'm gonna put in my new password. And there it is. So we are in. This is where I would grab the stream key, the streaming URL and the stream key, and I'd put it in a service like OBS, and you'd be up and running. So this is a one-click installer for Owncast that is now available on Reclaim Cloud. The beautiful thing about Owncast and Reclaim Cloud is if I go back there and I come here, and so I do my stream, right? Did my kind of hour stream the server was running, I can now stop that server. And that will no longer take any resources. It will shut it down until the next time I stream out, I can come back, I can restart it, take a minute or so to kind of find the DNS and everything work, and then you're off and running. So it also is nice because it doesn't have to constantly be running. It can be start and stop to save you money. So. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching. If you're interested in Owncast, this is probably a great solution for you. And uh, we hope you play with it on Reclaim Cloud. Yeah.